Hi, in this video, we're going to do another an arithmetic annuity example. This is going to be kind of a non-standard decreasing example. So let's, let's look at what I mean by that. We've got an annuity due with annual payments has an initial payment of 75. Each subsequent payment is for less than its preceding payment until reaching a final payment of 27. And we're asked to determine the accumulated value of the annuity using a 9% annual effective interest rate. So it's the accumulated value of an annuity due. So I'm going to have a value one period after the last payment. My timeline's going to look like this then. So the first payment 75, and then the next payment would be four less than that, or 71, and they would continue decreasing like that. I'm going to need a little bit more room, so let me move it up to the top. I'll be using a 9% periodic effective interest rate here. And the first thing that I recognize, again, is that the delta value, I'm going to use the absolute value of delta. Absolute value of delta is 4. Remember, delta was representing the common difference. So I could think of the common difference as being minus 4, so the absolute value I'll write as a 4. So what I would do, the first thing I would do then is I look at that last payment of 27, and I think of that payment of 27 as a 4 times 1 plus something, and that something has to be a 20, is 23. Just do the arithmetic. So I think of the... 27, because the common difference is 4, I write the 27 as 4 times 1 plus, and then the answer is 23. So I'm going to replace the 27 by a 23 on top of the 4 times 1. That gives me an indication of how to replace the other payments. I'm going to use 23s across the entire top, and so... Uh, the 75 I'm going to replace with a 23 plus something, and the 71 I'm going to replace with a, with a 23 plus something. And then the question is, well, what is the something? And I want to think of that something as a four times, you know, something else. So the 71, and we'll focus on the 71, uh, is 23 plus... Well, I'd subtract 23 from 71, you'll get 48. So the, the, the 71 I'll replace with a 23 and then a 4 times 12 because that's what 48 is. And then 75 would be 4 times 13. So I get what those values are. The reason I do that is because now it's very easy to symbolically represent the accumulated value of this annuity. I just use, uh, first I value the level payments of 23 and I, 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 see, I see there are 13 of those, recognize a pattern there, and you can see there are 13 payments of 23 that I'm valuing one period after the last payment. And then when I factor out the four, I get a decreasing and arithmetically decreasing basic annuity. So the punchline here is that symbolically the accumulated value is a 23 times an S double dot angle 13 plus a four times the cap D S double dot angle 13. I'm not going to do anything with the first term because I'm going to use the, the, the TVM buttons on the calculator to value that. But the second term, I'm going to pl plug in the closed roof formula for DS double dot angle 13. And you should know that that closed roof formula is what I have here. And then I'm going to play the same game because I was that I did in the previous video. The I, I'm given an I, not a D. So the D is an I over a 1 plus I. And when you substitute that in for D and then simplify the the complex fraction, you get this. And at this point, I'm just evaluate, evaluating everything at an I value of 0 0.09. So I go to my calculator and I start doing some calculations and I get an accumulated value of $1,394.25. So that's what the accumulated value is. That's my answer. Now, I want to go back to the original problem because I want to show you a, a second way to do the problem that I often see students do, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. So let's go back to the original problem, and what I often see students do is they view the 71, the first payment of 75, they view the 71 as a 75 minus a 4, and then they just continue this pattern so that the 27, they view as 75 minus something, and do the arithmetic, 75 minus uh, um, uh, 75 minus 27 is, net, is 48. So you would have to have a, uh, a 75 minus 48 in order to get to, back to the original uh, last payment of 27. And so there's absolutely nothing wrong with, with what we have here. I then, once again, recognize from before that the common difference, the absolute value of it is a 4. So I'm going to write the 48 as a, as a 4 times 12. So I got a, a negative 4 times 12. And then just 
I'm going to move the first 75 up and group it with the other 75s because those are the level payments of 75. And now I want to value this picture. I want to value these two, two annuities one period after the last, uh, after the last payment. I look at the pattern and I recognize that there are 13 payments of 75, so that's going to be easy enough to value at the time, one period after the last payment. That's 75 times an S double dot angle 13. And then I'm subtracting, when I factor out the four, I actually have 12 payments there. Factor out the four, I got, or I'm subtracting four, so minus a four times, and then this will be a one, two, three, up to a 12, one period after. So symbolically, I would represent the value of this annuity uh, with a 75 times an S double dot angle 13 minus a four times an IS double dot angle 12. Be careful, be a little bit careful there with the way I did this one, uh, did it this way. You know, you have seven, you have 13 payments of 75, but on your, on your, the increasing annuity that you're subtracting off, there are actually only 12 payments. But now let's go through the same process. Plug in the closed group formula for an IS double dot angle 12, and you get this. For D, Instead of dividing by D, divide by I, then multiply by one plus I. Evaluate this using a 9% I value, 0 0.09 for I, and you'll get the exact same answer. So both of these are completely acceptable and, and natural to me. Both are completely natural ways to calculate the accumulated value of this annuity. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.